Hey everyone, it's Steven with the Rover, and in today's design tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to create a menu system with the Rover platform. So the situation we have is we're in a liquor store and someone's in a wine aisle and we want to give them some more information about all the different wines that are nearby. As you can see illustrated here, they're in the French wine aisle, so we want to give them some information about French wines. We'll welcome them with a card here that's just going to have some text and an image. And then we're going to create all these buttons, which will link off to different, you know, larger pieces of full screen content. You can see we have a guide to the regions, information about reds and whites, and then some items, you know, if you're looking for cheaper bottles or maybe some more expensive ones. So let's get started in creating this. We'll jump into the Rover platform here, where I've already created a touch point for my French wines, and I already have a push notification set up, inviting the person to swipe to open. Think of this as a guide, really. Now, the first thing I'm going to want to do is make sure that my card limit is a bit higher than the default because we're going to be creating quite a few different cards with all these buttons. So I just click here to edit my settings. I'm going to change that up to 10. This is just, you know, a small thing you might miss. And if you see that your cards aren't showing up, it's just a really good way to make sure that, you know, every everything's going to show. So that's done saving. Let's go back out into my touch point. So the first thing we'll do is create our intro card. We'll just call it an intro. And I'm going to add my image first. And here it is, the header PNG. So we got that there. Next thing we're going to want to do is add a text box. And that's just going to say what we had in our file here. Welcome to our French wine section. Let me just copy and paste that, throw that in. So you can see we have the car, but it's definitely not looking like the design and that's because my theme isn't applied. So what I'm gonna quickly do is apply a theme I've already set up called the liquor store. That's looking better. Now let me make this italic, gives it a little bit more flair. So that's all done. We'll just save that. And then we're gonna jump back out into our touch point and start creating all the menu item cards. Those are really just gonna be cards with a single button on it, which links off to a full screen view. So I think the first one was my guides to the regions. And again, all I really need to add on the card view here is the button. We'll give it the appropriate label. And then we're gonna add a full screen version here. The first thing I always like to do when I've added my full screen with this kind of situation is make my link between the two so I don't forget. Um, you can see I have a couple options. By default, it's not linking to anything. We want to link to the detail view. If you had other you know, custom deep link URLs, you could use that option. But we're going to use that because we're authoring it here. So then I'm just going to make all the changes on my full screen view. So that's going to be called Guide to the Regions as well for the title. Uh, I want to add an image here. That's going to be a map of France with all the lovely regions you can get wine from. And we want to move that up. And let's definitely make sure you can see the whole thing. It's a bit of a large image, but this is a pretty important one since it's a map. Um, then I'm going to grab my copy. I have a whole bunch here. I just put it into sketch so it's easy for me to grab in this demo. And I'll stick that in here. Do some really quick basic stylings. I'll make that into an H1. Make that an H1 as well. Again, you could bold, italicize certain keywords you want to pull out. Um, but so, you know, I have my basic sort of detail view there. Again, we need to apply our theme, so we'll select the liquor store, and that's looking a lot more like my design. So it looks a bit funny now, right? You only see the one button, but remember, we're going to be stacking a whole bunch of these on top of each other. So if we go back out to our touch point, I turn that on. I do want to drag it so it's below the image. We've got our first one done. So now it's really just going to be a case of adding all the different other menu items. In this case, I'm not going to, you know, do all the detailed content. We'd be here forever if I was doing that. What I want to do is just give you a sense of how this looks. So I'll add my whites again, add a button. It's going to be called whites. Make sure I style it properly. And let's, oh, let's make sure we turn these on so you can actually see it building up. My whites. I want to drag that down to the bottom. So you can see we're already, you know, getting a really kind of menu look and feel to this. Let's add one more. 
that is the top 10 for under $20. For those of us who enjoy our cheaper wines on a budget, for under 20, set my theme finally, and we're good. So again, this is it's a really good way when you're creating this content to you know take your time and make sure you're adding all your full screen views and um, making sure you always do link these buttons to the full screen so that when the actual experience is, is displayed, you know, there's no hiccups. I'm just kind of rushing through this now to give a sense of how this looks here. So you can see we have our menu system pretty well done. Um, what I want to do now is show how this actually works by switching over to a demo version of this in an app. So you can see here I have my app and I've just gotten my push notification because I've walked into the beacon region. I'll swipe to open. And you can see the menu items that we just made are now appearing over top of my app. And the one where I created a detail view, the guide to the regions, clicking that brings up a full screen view with all the text that I just put in with that image. So you can see, this is a really great way to give almost a self-guided tour of a section to someone um, without actually needing a tour guide. So I'm going to jump back now into the Rover main console because what I like to do lastly is talk about a few of the design elements. I'm not going to go through all of the design settings on this, it would take too long, but uh, just a couple interesting items that we've done for these themes. So I'll pull open just one of them and show you in the theme editor. One thing to note is that on the card, we've made the card full length, so there's no margins on the um, left or the right. This means that we can make our buttons full screen, so it, it looks a little bit more, less floaty on top, and it's locked to the edges. The other thing that we're doing, kind of interesting, is with these background images. So on this button, this arrow is actually using a background images to you know make it look like a menu item. And the way we're doing that is, I'll, uh, what I'll do is I'll actually just re-upload and show you how this image was cut so it works properly. I'll just, you know, option to re-upload and I'll show you here through the file browser. I have an arrow PNG and I'll just open it up in the preview here. You can see, well, this might be hard to see, but the way it's being cut is not closed crop to the edges. I've actually created a whole bunch of extra space to the left so that it will appear to the left when it gets placed into the background of the button. So that's how that was done. And again, it's kind of a nice little trick to create, you know, icons on your, on your buttons if you need them. So let's go back out. You can review in our uh, French one's touch point. This is, uh, it's, this is just a really nice way to give your users contextual information, to give them a lot of information without overloading them. So letting them self-select what they like to learn more about. If you have any questions about how this works, um, or any of the design elements you see you're not quite sure how I did, definitely feel free to leave a uh, comment or hit us up on our Facebook or our Twitter. And again, let us know if there are certain design issues you'd like to see us show you how to overcome um, or what you'd like to see in the next tutorial. Definitely let us know. And thanks for watching.